So you are trying to play Champions TCG, but you're on a budget and you want to play a dope control deck that all your opponents hate because you keep beating them with it. Well, I got the answer. It's Mud King Control. It's Mud King Control. It's this. It's this right here. Uh, there's a few cards that you can sub out if you're on a real budget. So uh, I'll post a link or I'll post the list of the deck in the description where it's easier to see. So just scroll down, look at the YouTube description. Uh, but there's only two expensive cards in here, like above five bucks, I think. One of them is Galak. The other one is Urgok. You can easily sub out the Galak for Astraling. Uh, Astraling. I'm trying to type it. There it is. You can easily sub this in for the Galak. The Urgok in here is the only genuinely expensive card. Uh, you'll have to try to be as creative as you can. Uh... I don't know exactly what you want to put in, but some other strong card that's like a five or a six drop can work. So the Urgox are the only one that's kind of hard to uh, sub out. But yeah, this is a really good budget control deck. Let me walk you through uh, the, the play style and a few of the key cards. So the goal of this deck is Mud King. Mud King has an effect called Mud Flood 10. This shuffles 10 curse cards into your opponent's decks i don't have the image handy but the curse card is called turdy i can probably pull it up i think oh never mind i'm zoomed in it's a one one poop <laughs> and 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 it shuffles 10 one one poops into your opponent's deck and then whenever they draw them they're very mad but it's a nine cost card with six nine stats so you have to wait a long time to play it what if we could play this much faster well luckily mud king evolves from glop Glop is an elemental guard, 5-8 for 4. Glop is actually quite strong on its own. It's a solid pick in draft or in arena, but it's especially good because it evolves into Mud King, which means you can either evolve it into Mud King and get your Mud King on turn 4 or 5, or you can use both a Tinker Time with Time Warp, which evolves another creature. If you play Bofa and Glop on the same turn, you can Glop and then Bofa to make the Glop become a Mud King, and that only takes seven mana. So Glop, you're really saving this to play it on turn seven a lot of the time, but you will play it earlier if you think, you know, if you have Mud King in your hand and you think you might actually pull off that evol evolution. So that's the main goal of the deck, is to use nature's board clear stuff, like Fungorth, Sangor, Tiruk, uh, Thomp, all those kinds of cards, and... Basically, once you're able to Mud King them at least once, if not twice, they're going to just start drawing a bunch of poop, and they're not going to be able to do a lot. And uh, it's a little bit of an inconsistent strategy, but it is incredibly fun when it works. And at lower ranks, I think this can crush. Now, against top competition, I don't know. This is probably more of like a B to C tier deck. Uh, but... Again, it's really fun, and it's also budget viable, so I still think it's well worth thinking about, and I've actually had a lot of fun playing it over the last week or so. Some other key cards. So we're running Zap Aside, a 1-1 one, one Zap for 1. When you play this, it does 2 damage to 2 random enemy targets, so you can use this if they play an egg on turn 1. You can play Zap Aside and immediately kill the egg. This is an anti-egg tech. And I actually think Zapicide is really solid anti-egg. I think it's a little underrated. It's really good for decks that don't run nature because Rock Nada is another one of the common anti-egg cards, and you don't have that if you're not running nature. In this case, we are running nature, but we're still running Zapicide and Rock Nada for both options. Blossom, I wanted to mention, 5-6 for 4, Life Bloom 6, and it also evolves into Sakura, which is a 9-9 nine, nine with Life Bloom 9. So this is a good alternative Bofa target to either really beef up the board or to juice up your own health total if you're against a really aggressive deck and you need time to kind of stay alive and win. Evolving this with Bofa is a great option. Tiruk, 1-1 one, one Earthquake for 1. It defaults to a 2 damage value, so it's 2 damage of AoE. This card combines amazingly well with Fungorth or with Sangor. It is just a really useful one-drop. It's one of the best one-drops in the game. And in this deck, I think it works really well to give us that control, that board clear stuff. It's also a good turn one anti-egg card, just like Zapicide. 
What's up, Gug? We're recording a deck feature for YouTube, so don't mind me. And then Rock Nada, we mentioned it's a 5 5 for two mana with Earthquake 1. So this is perfect to kill eggs. If your opponent eggs on turn one, you Rock Nada on turn two, you kill that fucker. It's gone. All right? So Rock Nada is great. So that's some of the key cards. Otherwise, we're really just using the usual nature tricks. Again, Fungorth, Sangor, Thomp, all the big crowd control area of effect attacks. So let's zoom back into a more reasonable level. And uh, let's jump into a game. Let's get a featured match. Here we go. All right, guys, we got a match. And I immediately have a terrible draw. So we have to mulligan. I hit no instead of yes. I meant to mulligan because I have two nine drops in my hand. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky with the Brun into the Mud King. That'd actually be pretty funny. Praying. Praying. She plays an egg as well. Guys, this is huge. Huge. I put 10 turdies in their deck. 10 turdies. And then I drew T-Rock, which is actually nice, but we already had Zap aside. This answers their egg. And then I, I honk honk and I pass. Actual violence. Thank God I'm playing against one of my guild mates because I would feel bad if I did this to anyone else. But if you're in my guild, you got to deal with it. Uh, so they steal the Mud King, but they don't steal the Mud Flood. I'm guessing they want to try to to raise it from the dead, maybe? No, they're not even playing dark. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they have some other raised dead. Uh, I'm going to trade in the moon and get the double draw. And I could play Zap aside again if I want. Which I think I do. I don't see a reason to hold it back. Nice kill the Lily. So the thing is now, she is every turn risking drawing a 1-1 one, one turdy. So every single turn, they might get a dead draw. And this is very early in the game. So this is like the dream scenario. <laughs> I did a few matches and I could not get a good example of this deck doing what it does best. So I'm really happy about this one. This is a, the dream scenario. I need Zapicide to damage Chubwing so Pukey can trade into it so I can moon the Mud King. That's my dream scenario here. I hate to do it, but I think I just Chubwing and kind of chill. Chubwing and chill, I guess. Ink? I'm not super confident in this turn. But we have a lot of board clears, so if I do fall uh, behind, hopefully. Actually, my entire hand is board clears plus moon. It's all board clears and then moon. So, again, it's a 50-50 with moon where one of them is good and one of them is unsalvageable. A little annoying how that happened twice. Rock Nada this turn would set up... Actually, no, moon's okay. If I get Fungorth, we just play Rock Nada. I do get Fungorth. Clear those. Moon on top. Let's go. They can't get Mud King back if they do have some way to raise dead. Although I, I'm still, I'm not, I have to double check. Is there any raise dead outside of dark? I'm not positive. Drawbash, Pukey, they're drawing a lot, but we're getting closer to our Cyclonius. We pulled off the one Mud King. We're just, our, my hand is literally all defense. Like it's kind of wild. My hand is all defense. So I just hit Strawbash and then play Sangor. It's a two for one. And it prevents the evolution into Berry Cane. So I guess so. <laughs> We're just defending super hard now. I forgot about the uh, nature versus air. Okay, so my nature creatures have plus two against air. Holy shit, it's so hard to remember the elemental stuff. Completely brand new thing. She did have Berry Cane. I'm down five to nine in terms of cards in hand, but finally there is a turdy. The thing is, we can get more turdies in their deck. I just need to draw my other Mud King. We're getting to nine pretty soon. I have no proactive cards. I literally only have reactive. I only have reactive. I only have reactive. I guess just pull it back and chill. I could play Rock Nada. For a slight bit of tempo, but that also just gets cleared by another Fungorth or a Gloom Toad. They seem to be running like super control. I guess I'll pass it back. Thunderpuss? 9 9 Stormcaller 5. I can do what needs to be done, I think. Oh, wait, again, again, the elemental advantage. Stop forgetting. Nature is plus two against air. Okay, in that case, we're completely chilling. 
If nature wasn't plus two against air, man, it's it's so hard. I know I'm not the only run. Leave a comment if you're watching this and you do that as well. If you forget your elemental damage every time. Oh my god, I can't believe how much I have to work for this after the turn one Mud King. I thought I was it was going to be in the bag. So they send the egg back to my hand and play Thundaga. Interesting. So lots of zap in their deck. Here is where they might have messed up, though, because they play four cards. One of them's a turdy. Three cards. And I could just Cyclonius. I can also just Thomp, though. I think we have to stall Cyclonius. I don't think we want to play it yet. Uh, thomp first. I could just Rock Nada, low key. Thomp first. It's okay. Thomp first. Chubwing. We have double Cyclonius. Okay. I can play the egg. Wait, what am I doing? I could have played Rock Nada. Okay. This match is messing up my mental. Like I'm, I'm losing it. Tough competition. I thought I was safe after the turn one Mud King. Instead, we have to fight for it. Instead, we have to fight for it, man. Kill the egg. I high roll on the hatch. Yayo Finn Whirlwind? Windseeker. Do you have Voltadu? Is that the yeah, it's the evolution. Do you have it? The thing about Yayo Finn is it's a Windseeker. It's nine health as well. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay. So I have Urgok and I have both Cycloniuses. This is definitely just a Cyclonius turn. And we hopefully win from here with the Cycloniuses. Urgok, incredibly powerful. I think we got there now. Uh, but that turn one Mud King didn't have as much impact as I was hoping. That's the challenge of Mud King is it's not super consistent, right? I'm, I'm, I don't know. If anyone can figure out a better version of this deck, I want to see. It's like super fun when it works, but I, it is challenging to make it consistent enough. Yeah, they're healing their own face, trying to get away from the danger. Finally, another turdy. Yeah, their hand must be fucked, right? There's a second turdy. The thing is, I drew one Mud King, no Bofas, no Glops. We haven't been able to go as hard. Anyway, let's steal the egg. Let's steal the egg. Steal the egg. One cost Cyclonius. But again, I have no proactive cards in my hand. All I have is Urgok, so now what I can do is if they Cyclonius me, I Urgok the Cyclonius. Which is good, because otherwise... Never mind, they beat me to it. All right, there's a turdy. We can Urgok their Urgok, but obviously we'd rather not. They weren't able to Urgok the turdy because they had to Urgok Cyclonius. That's actually kind of sick. Uh, I just want to Urgok Urgok, but it's not the right play. Do 10 damage to face. Actually, bro, we're doing it. Urgok their Urgok. Tiruk, so they can't take Aegis off of Galak. It killed Chubwing without attacking because I'm blundering like a fool. <sighs> because it has elemental damage bu uh, boost, so that sucks. But still, this is an anti-Cyclonius board other than I forgot to attack with goddamn Chubwing. The Roll elemental up. bonuses are messing me up. Okay, they heal 6. They're up to 17. I have 11 damage on board. Uh, I want to draw first, but I guess... Hit face. What am I doing? I'm taking Aegis off. Rock Nada, the egg. Yuki. Blossom. Uh, this, this is just not quite right. Please, just don't have Cyclonius. One more turn, I win. One more turn, I win. I'm stressing. One more turn, I win. One more turn, I win. This is supposed to be a fun video about Mud King control. It's supposed to be a fun video. It's turning into, like, the craziest attempt to make a video ever. Like, this deck was working so good until I tried to record this video. There's another Mud King. There's the win. All right. Y'all, please help me make this deck better. Let me know in the comments. How can I make it better? Mud King is so fun, but it's so inconsistent. As you can see, it's 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 interesting. I don't know. Let me know. I did my best. I'm posting the video. It is what it is.